Welcome to PPI Recording Studio nestled in the cradle of uh, New York City. Welcome to the first weekly episode for the month of May 2023 for dedication post-isolation weekly video series because we're getting it out to the nation and beyond. First photo you're going to see come up today is a thank you to all the folks who watched this past week's episode and we had a guest with us and that was Lenny Rothbart on harmonica. It was so cool. All the music was on harmonica. So we got definitely emails, I got texts, I got comments under the YouTube section, which is absolutely Sam Fantastic. If you did not see that particular episode, in the text description area underneath today's episode, I will have a live link. It makes it very easy for you at your leisure to go on and click on and watch it at your leisure. And thank you, Lenny Rothbart, for being a guest once again. That was the second time with us. So today I have a guest with me, and this is Robert C. Ford. Yeah. yeah. Hello, world. Yep. <laughs> As Chip would love that horn. <laughs> and Robert actually was a guest two years ago. Heart yes, to Magic. Was. Like, Middle of the two pandemic. Years, man. Yeah. yeah. So Robert was a guest with Gene Pritzker, February 2021. You're going to see the, the picture as I'm talking, the photo. And they came on, and this was absolutely, there was nothing happening at that point in time with pandemic. So I figured two years later now, now we're doing events again, and I think it would be perfect for the first episode for now going into starting our new season and new year to have Robert back. So thank you so much, Robert. Honor to be here. back. Uh, I'm surprised you had me back. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what was all Chip's doing? <laughs> <laughs> we can blame it on him. <laughs> you couldn't find anyone else. Right, exactly. Right. So thank you so much for joining us again. Yeah. And Robert is a poet, and he's also the raconteur, so to speak, and he has a venue right here in New York City called Sky Vault that I promoted like up yep. to the nines, which is really cool. Much appreciated. And my yeah. pleasure. But they're actually back doing live events again. So I've asked them to come on and recite some poetry. So set Without up the further ado, yes. So I chose the first one because I think it's very timely uh, with all the discussion, good or bad, about chat GPT. And without debating the merits, here's my poem. May the great arc save the drones. Alexander the Great, Alexander the Barbarian, Anna Karenina, hero, Anna Karenina, adulteress, true or false, black or white, humanity will suffocate in a matrix governed by binary bits and bytes. AI will never understand the emptiness of Malevich's black square Dances with diverse shapes, vibrant colors, tight brush strokes of red, yellow, and blue pairs. No more Petri dish Darwinism. <laughs> Unplug this Tower of Babel version 2.0 and realign the GPS of our souls with the beauty of imperfection. Thank you. Now, where does that come from? What inspired you to write that? And, and let's say the title. because Yeah, so the title, which doesn't get repeated in the uh, poem itself, is May the Great Ark Save the Drones, kind of a biblical reference. But it was actually a submission I had for a Dada journal. And they're, you know, it, it, it's not supposed to make sense, but makes sense, but not, yeah. It's, it does make sense. Uh, it, and it was written... Three years ago, way before wow. ChatGPT came of age, okay. so I was a little ahead of my time on the poem. Curved. But now it's like, oh wow, I already have one of them. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, thank you. So now these two posters, I'm going to explain in brevity. This one right here, and you're going to see on your screen, Robert actually right. took a selfie when we were recording here in February 2021. So this is a selfie. It's really really cool. And this particular poster right here, the flyer is for what's coming up this week at Sky Vault. And it's May 5th, 2023, and that's at 7 p.m. And I'll have a live link in the text description area underneath today's episode to their Facebook page. So you can either go on and buy tickets or you can go on and live stream. What? Right, exactly. So that'll be underneath. So this week it's going to be Robert and obviously Gene, who's in the middle, who actually was here in February 2021. And you want to talk about who's the gentleman on the end? Yeah, so uh, Gene Prisker is a, a composer as well as guitarist. And then our feature guest will be Omar Kabir, uh, the great trumpet player. Okay, cool. So that's yeah. May 5th, 
2023 at 7 p.m. right here in New York City at Sky Bowl. Now, I asked Robert because I have utilized this YouTube series as a very strong platform for environment and ecology because of my diving and underwater photography and Save the Whales and Gotham Whale here in New York City and all that. So he has a perfect poem that represents that. So you want to set that up a little bit and talk a little bit? Yeah, uh, you kind of stole the thunder, but uh, <laughs> Sorry. The, the title is Mother Earth Doesn't Wear Lipstick, and it's kind of a, uh, a compare and contrast between the traditional Hopi Indians and the modern digital world we live in. And of course, uh, you know, maybe I'm just getting old, but I prefer when times are much more simpler and, you know, we respected, uh, you know, our environment. So um, other than that, I think it's pretty in your face. Mother Earth doesn't wear lipstick. The Hopi recognizes himself in the animal's eye. The digital native posts duck face selfies. The Hopi slowly pulls back on a hickory bow. The digital native slaughters with a plastic straw. The Hopi says a solemn prayer for the life sacrificed. The digital native hungers for more likes. The Hopi makes moccasins from remaining hide. The digital native discards cell phones fully charged. Another driveway, another highway, less birds and trees, more GDP. Prairie dust bowls, where are the buffalo? Dot com, the only Amazon. Koyana Scotsi, we can't eat money, less taxis honking, more birds singing, Ganges River, pure water drinking, let mother breathe, adopt a tree. Let mother breathe, adopt a tree. That's very cool, man. Thanks. You know what that makes me think of? Do you remember the commercial on television a bunch of years ago, which was extremely effective? I want to say this is back in the 70s. And it was a soundtrack, and it was about littering, and it was the Indian. Yep. And in all you would see is one tear coming down his eye. Because you're referring to the home. I here. remember that very That's vividly. what it reminds yes. me of. Yes. Yeah. When I watched that last night, and by the way, in the text area underneath today, there's an actual live link to that particular YouTube yes. video of Robert performing at Burnland Jazz about 10 days ago. Yes. And sure. so I'll have the live link there. It'll take you to his YouTube page. You can watch all his videos, but that one especially is really cool. And Koina Scotsi is a Hopi word meaning life out of balance. So. In case you're not, and, and Philip Glass. Well, I I took it from the the film by the same name, Coyne Scott C, with music by Philip Glass. But uh, it means life, world out of balance. Well, it's definitely that, <laughs> <laughs> and then some. Yes. So thank you for sharing those. Happy. Again, live links in the text text description area to uh, Skyball and also that particular YouTube. And I'll take you to Robert's whole YouTube channel. So Project 142 Constant Series is the sponsor to Dedication Pulse Isolation weekly video series. Project 142 website is www.project142.org. Our Facebook page is Project 142 NYC. And the event calendar, which supports promotionally marketing for folks such as Robert and also Composers Concordance with Gene, for example. Uh, we've been doing it for years for Composers Concordance. And that's www.project142.org slash calendar. Now that calendar gets updated every day by myself. And it also not only keeps it current, but I add new information on like his next event in June. Once May 5th is over, that'll be then updated to yeah. the next event for Sky Vault for June to keep that ball rolling awesome. and, keep, and keep all that movement going. <laughs> so it's not out of balance, right? <laughs> right? You need a calendar to update the calendar. Calendar, right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> So Project 142, a uh, funded, sponsored, paid for concerts here in New York for 10 years. Pandemic, which is kind of where we all came from, so to speak, and rearranged our lives. It came up with the idea, and with the help of Mr. Chip Fabrizi, we launched right here the idea of YouTube series dedication post-isolation, April 28, 2020. Hence, that's why we celebrated our third year anniversary last week, because it's that. It's a three-year anniversary. So we've taken the, plat the website, 
also the social media platform and also this YouTube series to promote folks such as Robert C. Ford and also Skyball and also Composers and Accordance. So today for our two real quick uh, Project 142 video promotion support, going to talk about a nonprofit that we've been promoting here for 20 months now, and it's in Uganda. It's called Mother Rachel Orphanage Center, and they have a GoFundMe page for donations, and they also, you're seeing it as I'm talking, they also have a mailing address. So if you want to send a care package, such as school supplies, clothes for kids from 3 to 10, shoes, anything like that, they would be greatly appreciated. So I'll have live links in the text description area to Mother Rachel's Facebook page, also their GoFundMe uh, page for donations. And then the next one I'm going to talk about, which is not only another live event beyond May 5th at Skybolt this week, but it's May 7th, 2023, and that's going to be in Wachong, New Jersey at the Wachong Art Center, and that's Rio Clemente. He's going to be playing once again. He's there a couple of three times a year, and he's a wonderful pianist. And Marty Eigen, who I did the concert with in December 2022, right here in New York City, he's going to be the guest for that particular gig. May 7th, 2023, you see the flyer as I'm talking. I have live links in the text description area to that event to buy tickets and get more information. So Robert and I are going to do a birthday because we have a birthday today for my dear sweet Raquel. It's coming up real, real quick. So Chip, you want to kind of get in the background of this? Here we go. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Raquel, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. <laughs> I'm going to take advantage right. of the fact we have another set of You don't of want me here. singing. <laughs> Luckily, Scott's, Scott's a little louder than I am. Right. High five. Yeah, High man. five. Yeah, thank a for you. effort. Yeah, we send you love, Raquel. <laughs> we send you a big hug for your birthday. Okay, so we're going to celebrate somebody that Robert and I really dig as a composer and also as music, clearly as we were growing up. We're going to do a little Doors music, Jim Morrison. Mr. Mojo Rising. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. It's on, on the storm. storm. Riders on the storm, into this house we're born, into this world we're thrown, like a dog without a bone, an actor out alone. Riders on the storm, girl you gotta love your man, girl you gotta love your man, take him by the hand, make him understand. The world on you depends, our life will never end. So riders on the storm, riders on the storm. Yeah, man! All right. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Ready Morrison. to go on tour. Jim Morrison. He's still alive, yeah. <laughs> God bless his heart, man. He left his mark in the world, and that's all any artist can ever ask for. When you're going through this world, whether it be I, poetry, music, whatever the case may be. So we're going to end off this particular episode. And thank you for your support. No, thank you for having me. Over and the years. Look and forward to coming back in another two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh, no, 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 awesome no, no, new no, poems no, by no, then. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be sooner than that. But we're going to say a thank you to a mutual friend of ours because he's such a strong support for the art community in general here in New York City, and that's Thomas Youngs. You're going to see a photo as I'm talking. So thank you so much, Thomas. Thomas is the best. Yep. We love you. Yep. You're a yep. super fan. Thank you for all you've done, and yeah. Very, I very sweet soul. Can't say enough. Very, very yep. sweet. He came to the December 4th concert up at Symphony He Space. comes to every concert yeah. that we have. Very, and, very yeah. sweet. So thank you so much, Robert. Thank you, Thomas. Thomas. Thank you so much for your support over the years, and I mean, God bless you. So next episode, next week, I'm going to ask the question, and this has been going on way before human beings thought about the green environment, right? About recycling and making environment better. Mother save Earth. It, save a right? tree. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> this is happening way before that. So here's the question that I'm going to put out to you. How does whale poop act as a fertilizer in the ocean? This has been going on for thousands wow. of years. And it actually does. Tune in next week. I will answer that question, and I will talk about it and have some new underwater photography. Until then, thank you, sir. Awesome. Been a Mer pleasure. Merci, Buckets. And I'm definitely tuning in next week also. Thank you. Thank you. you. you Chip for freezing. Thank you, Chip. Yeah, I know. He wants the horn. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next episode. Yeah, man. <laughs>